Hey everybody, how's it going? We're going to be doing a demonstration slash review of the Ryobi hinge pin remover and installer. So the quick review is this thing is awesome. It's worth its weight in gold. It's about four or five bucks. I really have very little to say that's bad about this. Uh, it's a fantastic tool. It has a pin in the center right here and it's uh, held in place uh, right here. And uh, the rest of the body is like this high, um, uh, high strength uh, polymer, this high strength plastic. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, and that's really about it. And the, the, the area right here, the, the, the body, the extended part, it protects, you know, the, the door frame and protects the door finish from getting damaged. Uh, I've tried all sorts of ways to remove pins. This is the best way. Again, this is literally it. This is all you get. And, um, you're going to need a few tools though. You're going to need a smooth faced hammer. It's got to be smooth faced. Don't get something that's, uh, you know, texturized. Um, and uh, you're going to need a vice grip or uh, lineman pliers. I'm going to try the lineman pliers because I haven't tried that before. And you're also going to need uh, lubricant. Uh, you can use WD-40. I like to use Valsol because Valsol is, like, in my opinion, like the best of the best. And uh, uh, WD-40 as excellent as it is, it's a solvent. It's solvent based. So that means you, if you get it on the walls, it, it maybe you don't want to, cause right now I'm painting, I'm going to be painting this door. I'm going to be restoring the door and I'm also going to be repainting the frame, uh, a much better, whiter color. And, uh, let's say I already finished the painting or let's say that you're not going to paint anything and, uh, you just going to change out the hinges because they're ugly. Well, uh, the WD-40 on the wall, uh, that could be a problem. If you don't clean it properly and if you, even if you clean it properly you might ruin the paint because it's, it's solvent based so i like to use the ballistol so we're going to need that we're going to go ahead and get this started right now so removing the pin uh the, these hinges is really really tricky so first things first i'm going to try to get ballistol really really close all right so essentially what the ryobi pin is doing i'm going to go ahead and give you the exposed view i have a new hinge right here uh, this isn't going to be the one that goes here, but uh, yeah, so essentially at the at the very top, you have the solid pin. This is the top of the hinge. And then, here, I'm going to turn on the light. Maybe that's going to be better. Yeah, there we go. And then at the bottom, we have a little cap. And um, there's a, before we had this tool, we had a, we generally had to remove the cap because finding a pin, a proper pin, it, it was, it was tricky. Well, Essentially, the pin goes, bypasses the cap. You see that? That's essentially what is happening here. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a picture that I took of this specific pin here. I already removed the cap, but we're going to pretend it's there. Um, the pin, whoever lived here before, because this home is older than myself. It was like made in like the late 80s. And uh, so it was painted. The This hinge is all uh, yucky. And it was painted and they did a, they got paint on the pin here. So, uh, the paint essentially bonded with the, the pin and the hinge. So it could be a little tricky to remove this just by using any kind of pin. Uh, so that's where the lineman pliers come in. I'm going to see if I can, uh, loosen it up by gripping it. Yeah. So the, the pin comes off. Yeah, see, this is why I like the, the vice grips. Because the vice grips just kind of hang on, yeah. I'm in a very tricky spot, and I'm trying to do this while I'm filming. There we go. Yeah, so the vice grips do a really good job. So right now I'm just twisting it left to right, left to right, and it's getting loosened up real good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the pin in place. And we're gonna get the hammer and just do, you don't have to go crazy. And you wanna try to get it as centered as possible. And if you get a really nice hammer that's smooth all around, you're not gonna do any damage whatsoever to the frame or the door, but anything that's damaged here can be fixed anyways. And this is getting painted and, and uh, rejuvenated, restored properly. 
And now it's it's up. I'm gonna go ahead and just push it up against the pin. Comes right out. We're gonna go ahead and do that once again for the bottom one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hit it with ballast stall. The ballast stall, I went a little too wild with it. No big deal. And this is gonna be repainted anyways. This just, trust me guys, uh, and this does have a little bit of penetration. Oh, never, never mind, it says penetrates. That's the key here. And I'm gonna be doing another video showing you guys how to install things properly. So once again, we're gonna get our lovely mobile um, lovely Milwaukee, uh, these are like a uh, thin profile or something like that, the slim uh, vice, it, it goes into those type places. Uh, as great as this is, the little thing comes off, uh, I gotta get the Gorilla Glue, you know, or something, because this is uh, kind of annoying. Anyways, let's go ahead and loosen her up. Yeah, oh yeah, this one's, this one's really tight. But all you gotta do is just wiggle her around like that. Wiggle her around. And then the Ryobi tool does the rest. Uh, again, I'm in a, a funky angle. All right, it, it, essentially what I'm doing with the pin, when it's in this spot, here, let me get the other pin and I'm gonna show you guys. Essentially when the, with the Ryobi pin, like this is hanging out, this is essentially what it's doing. And then I'm just hitting up on it and it comes right out. Very, very easy. Now, I'm not showing you what I'm, what I'm wearing on screen, but uh, I have uh, hearing protection on. It's very important to have hearing protection on. God only gives you two ears, you guys. So get your hearing protection. I'm going to show you a picture of what I got. <laughs> Link in the description. And, uh, you know, it's like whenever I'm like visiting with my mom and then she's like working on some project in her garage and I'm just like, mom, you got to wear hearing protection. You know, the, the you know, these sanders are, they're going to hurt your ears or too loud. There's too many decibels. You're being a dumb bitch. And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, point proven. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't call her that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I call her other things though. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's it, guys. That's it. Oh, these are these are really yucky pens. Yeah, so they're, they're these are gonna get replaced with these uh, smooth action operation hinges. I'm gonna show you how to install this. I'm gonna just get the paint the the frame painted first. I gotta wipe it down, clean it, and then sand it really lightly. And I'm gonna show you how to install these properly. It's almost similar, guys. It's almost similar. I have my own technique. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm somewhat of a handyman. My, my specialty is obviously building firearms and doing electrical work, but uh, I'm pretty handy around the house. The ladies love me for that. And, uh, you know, so that's it, guys. That's the Ryobi uh, hinge pin remover and installer tool. This is a fucking awesome tool, man. It honestly is worth its weight in gold. Uh, I picked this up at Home Depot. Where is this thing made? I know a lot of people like to know. Made in Indonesia. Uh, thank you, Indonesian people. You guys are cool. Uh, so yeah, this is this is fantastic. Um, my my only recommendation is when you when you're hitting this, try your best to hit the center. You want to hit the center. That's where the strongest point is, because you're gonna get uh, this thing will get warped or damaged if you hit it on the sides. And I have a very large hammer. This is the the Milwaukee. I think this is the 20 ounce hammer. Yeah, this is the 20 ounce hammer. This is a big boy. It's very very heavy, so I don't have to you know exert that much weight. Or, or, or exert that much strength into you know the, the the hammer. I'm not the hammer is doing all the work essentially, not me. Uh, so that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, it's kind of pricey, but you know you get what you pay for, guys. You get what you pay for. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the Ryobi hinge pin install remover. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Peace.